a crooked nose, a trophic rhinitis. On June 2nd, 1881, on a farm in puy le France, more than 200 people, including government officials, veterinarians, politicians, agronomists, and newspaper reporters, gathered to see the battle of the century. The champion was Louis Pasteur, the global superstar of the time. The challenger was Hippolyte Rossignol, the leader of veterinary medicine in France. I don't believe your vaccines. Let's test the efficacy of your vaccine in public. I will provide the whole sheep for the test. Well, let's do it. The experiment started with two groups of sheep. One group of 25 vaccinated sheep and another group of 25 unvaccinated sheep. After two weeks, highly toxic Bacillus anthracis was injected into all 50 sheep. The result was clear. All the vaccinated sheep survived, but most of the unvaccinated sheep died or were dying. The undisputed champion was still Louis Pasteur. A bacterium, Pastorella multicida, which was named after Louis Pasteur. This legendary scientist first found more than 100 years ago, Pastorella multicida causes atrophic rhinitis in pigs, which makes their nose malformed. Pastorella multicida enters a pig and stays silent. As soon as Bordetella, which entered the pig's body together, opens a gap in the pig's immune system, Pastorella multicida starts to be activated. The toxin secreted by Pastorella multicida induces abnormal development of the nasal bones that results in a crooked nose. In order to prevent the toxin from Pastorella multicida, a special vaccine was developed, toxoid vaccines. The efficacy of toxoid vaccines has already been recognized. The vaccines are given to sows before farrowing to ensure that newborn piglets receive antibodies in colostrum. However, vaccine is not all that matters. Even with a small and old facility, a couple managed their pigs with love and care. The pigs responded magnificently to their efforts. However, despite the love and care, in every spring, about 30% of pigs showed a symptom of crooked nose. This phenomenon appears only in the spring, even though the same vaccine is used all year round. Don't worry, in some time, it will be fine. I have tried other brands, but with any product, always at this time of the year, it appeared temporarily. Regardless of the quality of a vaccine, the efficacy of a vaccine can be lowered or totally absent by the external factors such as the season. You must bear this in mind. 